serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world. This is the Show Me Sports Network. The following is an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and is a high fidelity all digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyright by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. High School Basketball is brought to you by Avon with Michelle Carty, Boone County Journal, Centurion Cares, Eddie Goodell Society, Han Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, Kathy Rush, Remax Realty, Last Sentinel Firearms, River Oak Christian Academy, Sawdust Studios, Law Offices of Russ Swanigan, Southwest Dental Care, and State Tech of Missouri. The excitement is building in the stands, and the tension is rising courtside, as tip-off is just around the corner. You're listening to exclusive coverage of local high school basketball on the Show Me Sports Network. Now, here's the voice of the Show Me Sports Network, Blake Gasaway. And a very pleasant good evening, everyone. Blake Gasaway here for the second time tonight as we are... Getting set for doubleheader action as the boys will match up. That's the Southern Boone County Eagles boys squad matching up, playing on the road at Moberly, taking on the Moberly Spartans. For Southern Boone, they sit at 5-4 and four on the season. For the uh, Spartans, they sit at a 1-7 and seven record on their season. The game that uh, was completed in our twin billing here, the girls of Southern Boone won 56-50 over Moberly. So the boys trying to sweep doubleheader action as they're matched up here at Moberly. Team captains and officials, head coaches, they're all meeting over on the far side of the court, going over last-minute instructions as well as uh, all the different things they need to go over that they take care of before the game starts for Southern Boone. As I said, they sit with a record of 5-4 and four on the season as for them. As I said, the girls got a 56-50 win. For the boys, that will, we're trying to update something real quick, that will have them riding in this game a one-game losing streak. Their last action was... A couple nights ago, as they lost hosting Fulton by a final of 65-51. That put them on a one-game losing streak. That's how their record sits at 5-4. and four. They got wins over Montgomery County, as well as Owensville this season. And California and Lynn, as well as Sullivan, are their five wins. Their four losses coming at the hands of Herman, Capital City, Harrisburg, and Fulton, as we said a couple of nights ago, and sitting at 5-4 and four on the season for Southern Boone. They come in looking for doubleheader sweep here. So we said just one win on the season for the uh, Spartans as captains, coaches, and officials there meeting wrapped up on the far side. Said Blake Gasway here with you. Glad you're tuned in to our broadcast here tonight. If you haven't done so, be sure and head over to our social media page. You can find us at Show Me Sports Network. Find us on Facebook. Search for us there. You can give our page a like, give it a share as well. We're also on Twitter at Show Me Sports Net. Didn't have enough characters to make network, so just at Show Me Sports Net. We're also on YouTube, so Find us there, Show Me Sports Network. Give our page, click on the subscription button, as well as uh, the notification tab. Let you know anytime we post videos. We are in the process of archiving uh, games there, as uh, still trying to get through some of our summer collegiate baseball games to archive on there. It's just a long process, takes a while, but like I said, click on the notification tab, as well as uh, on the subscription tab there, and that'll let you know anytime we post any videos, you'll be notified of that. We also archive our games, the audio side of things, anywhere there's archive games, or oh, let me try that again. Anywhere you can find a podcast, find podcasts, you can listen to them. You can find our archive games. Just so search for 
the Show Me Sports Network. have uh, a whole lot of places you can find them. I think it's up to like 40 different uh, places that you can find our archived game podcasts. So anywhere you can find good podcasts, you can find our game archives there as well as on YouTube. Just search for us, Show Me Sports Network. So we're going to take a look at the starting lineup now for the Southern Boone County Eagles. We're going to pick them up off the uh, PA. So they're going to start a 5'10 senior wearing number zero in Carter Salter. A 5'8 junior in Chase Morris. A 6'4 senior, Aiden Bukowski. A 6'0 senior wearing number 11, Mason Ayrns. And we'll get the fifth starter here in just a second as they turn the lights out. I'll get who that last starter is. I didn't check to see if that was Young or Ash. Be one of those two, most likely. Starting for Moberly, 6'2 senior, number five, Colin Huffman. A 6'1 freshman, number 10, Cameron. Overham. A 5'10 junior, wear number 13, Cade Bone. A 6'2 junior in Tyrese Rucker. And a 5'11 senior in Tremaine Watts. Check one of these numbers real quick. It's Cameron Dubrava. Sorry, couldn't read my handwriting. We're number 10. Apparently a little sloppier than what I was anticipating. This team's going over final instructions. So the final starter is actually sophomore 6'4", sophomore Braden Beckman to round out the starters. Beckman will meet in center circle ball and be tipped by Huffman into the hands, though, of Southern Boone as Bukowski will drive in. Quick shot up from the near side. Good. Southern Boone has a quick 2 to nothing lead. So we played 13 seconds in the ball game. Watts had it for a moment, gives it off to uh, Bohm. It's again for Moberly going left to right on his Show Me Sports Network or Media Center, however you tuned in. I'm glad you're listening to the broadcast. Dubrava had it for a moment. He will get it back. He'll fire up a three on the iron. No good. Rebound will come down to Bukowski. He'll give it off the other way as Morris will have it. He'll leave it for Salter here on the near side. Down low in the paint with it is Aaron. There's a three up by Morris. That no good. Rebound will be taken. Going the other way with it. And Southern Boone has a 2 to nothing lead here. As there's going to be a steal going the other way with it for Southern Boone. Lays it up and lays it in. As Morris gets his first bucket of the game. It's now a 4 to nothing lead. He got the steal. Took it coast to coast. Lays it up, lays it in. So with it for Moberly is Dubrava. He'll get it back on the far side. He is guarded. Here, that's Rucker with it now. He is guarded closely there by Bukowski. Rucker will get it back straight away. Near side with it is Baum. So I'll play a little catch. 6.15 left to go here in the opening period. Driving in, running one-hander up and good. Ubrava gets the first bucket for the freshman of the game, and there's going to be a ball that's out of bounds. Last touch by Southern Boone. Eventually I'll get it out. Southern Boone's going right to left on your broadcast tonight. They've either had fast breaks or turned it over there and didn't have a chance to tell you who's who. So with it is Bohm. He'll give it off to Dubrava, dribbling around traffic. Right-hander up to short. Rebound comes down. Into the hands of Beckman. As quickly in the front court, Aaron with it. He'll look down low, give it to Bukowski here on the near side. Far side with it is Morris. He'll put the left-hand dribble to work, give it off to Salter. Right elbow shot up, too short, got knocked down, but no call. 
Rebound will go the other way with it. Ohm had it for a moment, gives it off to Huffman. Straight away, there's a three up and good by Dubrava. We've got our first lead change of the day as it's a five to four advantage for Moberly. Straight away with it is Morris. He'll put the left-hand dribble down, got bumped and knocked down. That was easy call there. Tremaine Watts, the senior, picks up his first foul, first team foul. So that'll put Morris at the free throw line for the 5'8 junior. I have a couple of tosses coming from the charity stripe. Could tie it up and give his team the lead back. He can hit both of them. First one up, no good. So the best he can do here is tie it up. Southern Moon trails by a 5-4 to four margin right now. Second free throw, got that one. So Morris has three points. First tie of the game as we're tied at five apiece. We had one lead change as well in our game. Five minutes to go here in this first period of action. There's going to be a steal. Morris will get it. He'll go the other way. He'll uh, lay it up, lay it in. He's got two coast-to-coast -coast layups. He's got five points. Lead goes back to Southern Boone. As that's our second lead change of the day. No look pass. Right wing with it. Won't take the shot. Watts will get it straight away. He'll circle around. Now he just lost the handle on it. Goes out of bounds. It'll go back to Southern Boone. As they... Will have the lead in the basketball, does Southern Boone. They lead 7-5. to five. Far side with it, Aaron has it. That gives it to Bukowski. Now near side with it is Morris. He looks down low, shot up, no good. That by Beckman. So it will go back the other way for Moberly. Southern Boone leads 7-5 to five currently. As with it is Dobrava. He drives in, lays it up, got it to fall in. Dubrava, the freshman, has all seven points. Second tie of the ball game we've had now. We're tied at seven apiece. There's a whistle and a travel. It'll go back to Moberly. So Moberly's chance to possibly take the lead here. We've had two lead changes already in the day. Watts. Well, work it across the timeline. Bohm will have it. New Bravo with it here on the near side. Lost the dribble. It'll be Southern Boone basketball as Aarons lost the handle and it goes out of bounds. It's kicked by Moberly. Couldn't get a good grip on the basketball and goes out of bounds. We'll stay with Southern Boone underneath their own bucket. He'll get the inbound out front to Salter as he'll have it straight away. He'll give it off to Morris on the far side. He sees out near the timeline, out kind of no man's land. Under three and a half to go here, opening period. Tied at seven apiece. Right wing with it is Aarons. He tries to drive in, balls poked out. Stay with Southern Boone as that was knocked out of play by Huffman. 3.18 left to go here in this opening period. Again, tied at seven apiece. Inbound will go in at the free throw line. To Aaron. He'll dish it off far side. Bukowski, he'll fire three up. No good. Rebound will come down to Salter. He'll no look pass near side to Morris. He'll drive in. Got bumped. Lost the dribble. Got it off to Aaron. He'll head and shoulder fake. Now he'll drive in. Lays it up. Got it to go in. Aaron gets his first bucket of the game. The lead goes back to Southern Boone at 9-7. Cross court pass. Over to Rucker, he will fire his own three up. Way too strong. Bukowski comes down with the rebound. Southern Boone has the two-point lead, looking to add to it. Far side with it, in the right wing is Beckman. Morris had it for a moment. Now Salter with it, free throw line. He'll back it out, give it off to Morris. He backs out towards center circle. 226 and counting here in this opening period. 9-7 to seven in favor Southern Boone, screen set up, Bukowski has it far side. There's a long range three from Beckman off the front of the rim, no good. Aaron saves it, but into the hands of Moberly. Nice job though of him to hustle after it. As with it is Huffman. There's a, another long three offline from Rucker. 
So that will go back to Southern Boone as we're two minutes to go and a whistle and a reach-in foul. That one called on Watts. That's number two on him, team foul number two. So clock stopped a minute, 59. A couple, three subs come in. We've got Brady Dabkiss, the freshman. Junior Kellen Ash in there and sophomore Jace Wren. So Wren will have it out front. He will dish it off to Dapkis near side. Salter for three, no good. He'll fight for the rebound, though. Won't get it as it'll come out in the hands of Dubrava. He was trying to fight for it, though, in the corner. There's going to be a ball and poked out going to backcourt, but it was poked out by Southern Boone. Trying to drive in, laying it up and laying it in. Is that by Dubrava? Now we're tied again at nine apiece. Third tie of the game. Southern Boone will have it on their end of the court. Salter straight away. He'll fire up a three. No good. Rebound, though, offensively by Ash. His turnaround, Jay, no good. Two chances there. Couldn't find buckets. As it'll go back to Moberly, nearing a minute to play here in this opening period. Tied at nine apiece. Rucker will have it. Give it off to Bohm. Looking down low, Rucker gets it back, trying to back his way in. Spin move, shot up good. Rucker gets his first bucket. That's our third lead change. So it's 11 to 9 in favor of Southern, or in favor of Moberly, rather. Southern Moon has the basketball knocked out of the hands of Dapkis. So we'll stay with Southern Moon. 43.4 seconds left to go as Morris will check out, checking in. Sorry, Morris checks in, Salter checks out. Bukowski checks out, checking in for him will be Aaron. So get the quick inbound. There's a turnaround shot up by Dapkis. No good. Rebound still on the court. It'll be saved by Wren as he gets it off. There's a turnaround shot up and good by Ash. The junior has his first points. Now we're tied for the fourth time at 11. Been tied at 5, 7, 9, now 11. It's under 30 seconds to go here in this opening period. With it for Moberly is Baum. There's going to be a steal as going the other way with it. Laying it up, laying it in as Dapkis gets the steal. Coast to coast, that lead goes back to Southern Boone. They've got a 4-0 run going. There's going to be another steal, that one by Morris. He'll drive in, lay it up, couldn't get it to fall. Rebound offensive putback, that one up and good by Wren. As that will take us to the end of the first period of action after one, Southern Boone leads 15-11. to 11. We'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Running out of some of your favorite Avon products and haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time? No need to worry. Avon Independent Sales Representative Michelle Carty can help with your skin so soft, makeup, jewelry, fragrance, and skin care needs. Avon now carries cleaning supplies, clothing, daily essentials, and several small LG electronic items. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 and have your order shipped directly to your front door by shopping with Michelle at mcarty.avonrepresentative.com. Dot com or find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carty. At Southern Boone School District, our educators do more than just teach. Lives are being shaped for the future before they even enter a classroom. For students to succeed, it takes an entire district-wide team. Our students need you. Join Southern Boone School District's team today. Now offering competitive salaries and benefits for all positions. Visit ashland.k12.mo.us and click on the Employment tab. That play underway here in the second period is quickly a steal already. One on two as Morris had it, poked out of his hands. Southern Boone will control it. Ace Morris gets it back. He'll drive in. He is pinballed around. That could be called on about three different three different Moberly players. Let me call it on senior Darius Wallace. His first foul, third team foul. Inbound will go into the hands of Dapkiss at the free throw line. He'll fire up a J from the right elbow. Good. He's got four points. That lead now at six. It's 17 to 11. 
Wallace will have it. He'll try to drive in and lay it up. Too strong. Rebound knocked out of the hands of Southern Boone. So we'll stay with them. So they'll take it the other way. 7.20 and counting left here in this first half. Southern Boone leads by 6 at 17 to 11. Dish it off to Ash. His shot up here on the near side is good. Good assist by Aaron. And there's a 30-second timeout. We'll take a quick break and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagle Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. That's Southern Boone County leading. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions we need you we need you we need you we need you now more than ever the southern boone school district is hiring part-time bus drivers for round athletics and activities with no experience necessary our drivers enjoy flexible work hours paid on-site cdl training and paid time off all while helping our community the position offers competitive pay go visit sbschools.us slash employment we need you Yeah, the ball knocked out of bounds. Sorry, had to take care of a technical thing there as Southern Boone has extended their lead. As they have the basketball, Morris will have it. He'll have it knocked out of his hands as he was trying to go up for a shot. So a clean block there will go the other way. As Southern Boone leads double digits, 24-14, to 14, as there's going to be a whistle and a foul called. Let's see who that foul is on. Foul called on Aaron, the seniors first, team first. Be a couple tosses here. We'll do for DuBrava. He makes that first free throw. Also makes that one. Well, he's got 14 points on the day. Makes it a 24-16 advantage. There's going to be a shot up and good. That one up by Dapkis. He's got two more points. It's going to be a ball taken away by Southern Boone as they'll have it on the far side. Dapkis, though, will lose it out of bounds. We'll go back to Moberly. So far side with it will be Mason Bivens. He's checked in. He lost the dribble. He's going to pick up a foul on the other end as he got his money's worth. It'll be his first. Team fourth. So Dapkis will be at the free throw line.
So he's got his first free throw up good. So he will have a second one coming. It's out on the court. Salter, Morris, Dampkis, Beckman, and Aaron. So the starting five out there, that free throw up. Good as well. I guess Dapkis wasn't a starter, so close to the starters. It's now a 28-16 advantage for Southern Boone. Bivens has it. He'll give it off to Bohm. There's a three up by Wallace. No good. Rebound they're going to say off of Dapkis' hands, so we'll stay with Moberly on their end of the court. 428 left to go here in this first half. Again, 28-16 score in favor of Southern Boone. Wallace will get the inbound pass on the far side. He'll try to drive in, lost the handle, got it back, fires it up. No good on the iron. Rebound comes down to Salter. He'll go the other way with it. He'll have it straight away and a whistle and a foul as he was bumped. Dubravo will pick up his first foul, 15th foul. So that'll be an inbound here as Southern Boone has the basketball. They play a little weave. Salter has it in the paint, has it knocked out of his hands. It'll go the other way as Bohm has it, gives it off to Wallace, driving in, dish it off near side to Bivens, far side. There's a three up, no good on the iron. That taken by Dubrava. Rebound comes down for Southern Boone. They'll set their offense up, driving up. Shot up from the low post, good by Dapkis. He's got double digits with 10. It's now 30 to 16 in favor of Southern Boone. 3.33 left to go here in this first half. Bivens has it. He's guarded closely there by Salter. Now he'll work it in the left wing, give it off to Huffman. Bivens has it. Three up deep in the left wing. No good. Got his own rebound, though. Reset. Dobrava. He fires up for three. No good. Rebound will be chased down. There's a shove from behind. No call. Rebound. As shot up and no good by Beckman. Quickly the other way, Wallace has it for Moberly. His shot up, bricked it. Rebound comes down to uh, Bukowski. He'll give it off as we're under three to go. Give it off to Salter. Morris has it on the far side. And Southern Moon leading 30-16, to 16, loose ball, as it'll be taken away by Moberly, but they turn it over as... Dubrava rolled over with it, so turnover. Clock stopped, 2.47 left to go here in this first half. And Southern Boone leading by 30-16, to 14-point margin. They do have the basketball, looking to add to that lead. Salter will get the pass into backcourt. So he'll leave it for Wren on the far side. Offline, though, it goes off of Wren's hands. will be a turnover. Moberly will get it back. The Spartans have the basketball. They trail by 14 at 30 to 16. Dubrava has it, just tried to thread a needle, could not do so. There's a reach in foul. We'll call it on Dapkis, his first team second. We have a timeout called. Full timeout. We'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. There's no better way to celebrate a special event or show someone just how important they are to you than gifting them something handcrafted from Country with a Heart. Handmade in mid-Missouri, Country with a Heart specializes in hand-built woodworking projects for every occasion. Their design collection includes children's furniture, doll furniture, household items, holiday decor, outdoor decorations, custom projects, and everything in between. To view their full inventory of projects, visit countrywithaheart.com and find them on Facebook by joining the Country with a Heart group page. Thank you. 
Southern Boone calls a full time out there. 235 left to go here in this first half. Wallace shoots up a three. Good. Darius Wallace, the senior, he's got his first points of the game. So it makes it a 32 19 score. There's a turnover for Southern Boone. Going to go back to uh, Moberly. There's a three quickly up by Rucker. Wallace for three again. Neither one goes. Rebound will come down to Dapkis as he will have it for Southern Boone. He will walk across the timeline. Southern Boone leading 30-19 to 19 as we've got two minutes to go here before halftime. Wren will get it on the far side. He'll put the left-hand dribble, work it towards midcourt. Around the horn they go, Bukowski left wing won't take the three. He thought about it, but doesn't take it. As now back to Bukowski, left wing driving in, dish it off far side, Salter for three, short. Rebound comes down in the hands of Moberly. Wallace gets it quickly into front court. And basket is good, and he is fouled. That foul called on Wren, his first team third. Had to wait to see if that was going to go in. Wallace gets it to drop. He's got a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. That lead cut down under double digits now to nine. Free throw up. Good. Hit about every part of the rim possible before it fell in. That lead now at eight at 30 to 22. There's going to be a loose ball in the court. Wallace will get it back for Southern Boone, or sir, sorry, from Oberly from Southern Boone. His shot up from the free throw line, no good, missed everything, left it well short. It goes out of bounds. Southern Boone will get it back. They got a little sloppy basketball going on right now. Bukowski will cross the timeline with it. Ash has it. His turnaround shot up good, kissed it off the glass. He's got six points. Minute 15 left to go here in the first half. Back to a 10-point lead at 32-22. to 22. Rucker will have it. He will almost have a jump ball, but got it off to Dobrava. Dobrava shoots up. Long J, good. Dobrava, he's a 6-1 freshman, leading all scorers right now. Looking very impressive. Left wing Bukowski for three, no good. Rebound comes down to Wallace for Moberly. He'll quickly throw it into front court, but it's going to be taken away by Wren. He'll give it off to Bukowski under 40 seconds to go. Bukowski far side, Salter for three, no good. Rebound comes down off the iron, still on the court. It'll be taken away by Moberly. They'll get it into front court. Wallace has it wide open, shot up good. He's got eight points. Now a 32-26 lead for Southern Boone. Bukowski will get it back. We're at 15 seconds before halftime. Aaron has it. He's got a free throw line far side. Bukowski right wing. He'll survey the defense. Seven seconds to go. Back it out on the far side. Bounce pass. And it's going to be taken out of the hands of Ash. Wallace for three straight away. No good. Can't get it to fall. That'll take us to a score here at halftime. Southern Boone, 32 from Oberly, 26. We're going to take a quick break and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! Attention Eagles fans, here's your chance to help the student athletes of Southern Boone County by becoming a member of the Southern Boone Booster Club. Your gifts help provide all Southern Boone County athletes with a safe and positive experience while attending our school district and also help purchase items that our sports team couldn't otherwise afford. You can join the Southern Boone Booster Club this season for as little as $25. Membership is open to everyone. Interested in joining? Look them up on Facebook by searching Southern Boone Booster Club or email them at sbcathleticboosters at gmail.com. Let's go Eagles! 
Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market. Anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business hi i'm retired army sergeant trent dirks and i want to tell you about an organization that saved and changed my life forever retrieving freedom provides highly trained service dogs to veterans with disabilities and children with autism absolutely free of charge thanks to the generous donations and support from people just like you experts from retrieving freedom help throughout the entire process from fostering programs through service dog placement retrieving freedom gave me the skilled service dog tracer who has been my best friend in my lifeline to find out more about how you can get involved volunteer foster or to donate visit their website retrievingfreedom.org. Retrieving Freedom, changing lives through the training and placement of service dogs for veterans with disabilities and children with autism. Creating custom, handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier. Become a member of Sawdust Studios and enjoy 24-7 access to a woodworker's paradise. Outfit with industry-leading, professional-grade tools, Sawdust Studios offers endless woodworking possibilities. Don't have woodworking experience? No problem, as Sawdust Studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers, experienced designers, and master craftsmen. Youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers. For more information, search Sawdust Studios on Facebook or find them online at Sawdust Sawdust247.com. Sawdust Studios, your community wood shop. In today's world, injury prevention is at the top of everyone's list. However, heat-related occurrences get routinely overlooked. Zealous WBGT puts that front and center. By using cutting-edge formulas and technology, Zealous WBGT streamlines and simplifies obtaining and documenting wet bulb globe temperature readings. With a simple touch of a button, you can check WBGT anywhere in the world, receiving alerts when the WBGT goes over the threshold you select. Join the stress-free way to protect student-athletes, employees, and overall operations from extreme heat by downloading the free Zealous WBGT app today. Save time, save money, save lives with Zealous WBGT. Hello, Blake Gasaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? Well, both teams still in the locker room here at halftime as a lot of instructions from both respective head coaches. See what changes they'll have for the second half as they come out as Southern Moon leads by a 32-26 margin right now. Taking a look at the scoring summary for the halftime scoring summary. For the uh, Eagles, their leading score with 10 points is Brady Dapka. Seven points put in by Junior Chase Morris. Three points put in by... Sorry, I missed six points by Kellen Ash. Three points put in by senior Carter Salter and two points apiece by senior Aiden Bukowski, senior Mason Ayern, sophomore Jace Wren round out their scoring. Taking a look at the scoring for the Moberly Spartans leading all scorers, 16 points put in by freshman Cameron Dubrava. Eight points put in by senior Darius Wallace. Remember, he did not start the game. He actually didn't come in until some point towards the middle of the second quarter. And then two points put in by junior Tyrese Rucker to round out their scoring. The ball game has had four lead changes and ties at 5, 7, 9, and 11. That's how we got to our 32-26 to 26 score here at halftime. Get Southern Boone leading. We're going to take a uh, quick break. We'll be right back more over halftime activities. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
running out of some of your favorite Avon products and haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time? No need to worry. Avon Independent Sales Representative Michelle Carty can help with your skin so soft, makeup, jewelry, fragrance, and skin care needs. Avon now carries cleaning supplies, clothing, daily essentials, and several small LG electronic items. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 and have your order shipped directly to your front door by shopping with Michelle at mcarty.avonrepresentative.com or find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carty. At Southern Boone School District, our educators do more than just teach. Lives are being shaped for the future before they even enter a classroom. For students to succeed, it takes an entire district-wide team. Our students need you. Join Southern Boone School District's team today. Now offering competitive salaries and benefits for all positions. Visit ashland.k12.mo.us and click on the employment tab. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer, you're a parent, you're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions well both teams both teams have made their way back onto the court here getting warmed up before we get the second half underway again southern boone leading by a six-point march in at 32 to 26. Just shy of 8.45. Blake Gaswell here on the Show Me Sports Show. We're glad you're tuned into our broadcast here tonight. Remember, if you have not done so, be sure and head over to our social media. Find us on Facebook. Search for the Show Me Sports Network. You find us on there. Give our page a like, give it a share as well. You can find us on Twitter, Show Me Sports Net. Didn't have enough characters for network, so Show Me Sports Net. We're also on YouTube at Show Me Sports Network. I want to highly encourage you to head over to our YouTube and uh, click on the subscription icon and the notification icon as well if you've not done so. Because we've got some big things planned. Can't tell you uh, a lot about it, but know that we've got some big things on deck, some big uh, content things we're going to be doing here in the near future. So you've not done so already, please head over and subscribe and click on the notification so you know when we post those videos. That is one of the places we work on archiving our games as well. So it's a backlog. It takes a whole lot of time and a whole lot of effort and about six different computer programs and a whole lot of other things. But working on getting those archived in summer baseball, summer collegiate baseball right now. But uh, only have a handful of games left, and then we'll be into uh, – Fall bask or fall basketball, uh, <laughs> fall football. For Southern Boone, we'll be ready to archive those as well. So, a lot coming your way here on the Show Me Sports Network as play underway here in the second half. Southern Boone has the basketball and the lead as Aaron will have it. He'll look down low, shot up, no good. That one up by Beckman, and we'll have whistles and we'll have a jump ball called. So we'll go back. To Moberly, Southern Boone going left to right on your Show Me Sports Network, our media center, app broadcast, however you're listening to us. We're just glad you're tuned in. Moberly will have it. They're going to go the opposite direction here on a broadcast. They'll be going right to left. Here for the remainder of the game, there's a three up. That one no good. That taken by Dubrava. However, rebound offensively. That shot blocked by Aaron. 
Rebound comes down to the hands of Southern Boone for Bukowski. There's a three up by Beckman. Good. Beckman has the first points of the second half of action. That lengthens that lead. It's now 35 to 26. Southern Boone leading. And straight away with it will be Watts. He'll work to the far side. Right wing, there's a three up high off the backboard by Rucker. Rebound, though, to the Spartans as Dubrava puts that up. He's got 18 points. There's another three. Good. That one up again by Beckman. So Beckman has back-to-back threes. The lead back to double digits at 10. At 38-28, there's going to be a steal by Salter. He's going to race a cross shot up. Good. Got the hook to fall in. He's got five points in that lead. Starting to lengthen out here. It's at 12, at 40 to 28. There's going to be a steal for Southern Boot. Morris will get the steal. Spin move on the far side. Left wing, he'll have it. Near side with it, Salter. He fires up a three. Good. It's raining threes here. As Southern Boone, in a blink of an eye, leads 43-28. As timeout called, we'll see if it's a full or a 30. 30 30-second timeout called by Moberly. We'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County's basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. Now more than ever. The Southern Boone School District is hiring part-time bus drivers for route athletics and activities with no experience necessary. Our drivers enjoy flexible work hours, paid on-site CDL training, and paid time off, all while helping our community. The position offers competitive pay. Go visit sbschools.us slash employment. We need you! Thirty-second timeout called there with 6.05 left here in this third period by Moberly to stop the onslaught. This was a 32-26 score at halftime. We played two minutes. It's 43-28, Southern Boone leading. As there's going to be a loose ball on the court, and we'll have a whistle and a foul. And loose ball, but they say that Aaron got there his second team first. That'll be an inbound as inbound goes into the hands of Bohm. Wallace has a free throw line. He won't take a jumper. Looking down low, bad pass. It's going to be taken away by Southern Moon quickly in front court to Morris. He drives up, shot no good, but he was fouled. That foul is going to be called on Bohm. Bohm's first team first here in the second half. 5.39 left to go here in this third period. At the free throw line will be Morris. First free throw, no good. So he'll have a second one coming. Has seven points in the game, looking for number eight here. Second free throw, in and out, no good. Rebound will go down in the hands for Moberly. As Watts will have it across the timeline. He'll back it out towards center circle. Now he'll leave it for Wallace, who goes on the far side with it. Had a screen set, but wasn't very effective. Near side with it is Bohm. Watts has it. Won't take the three. He'll drive in instead. Fires it up high off the glass. No good. Rebound will come down to Salter. As Southern Boone will get the basketball. They'll quickly get it in the front court left wing. Now Bukowski has it. His three up good. Bukowski has a three. There's been five baskets made here in this third period. Four of those have been trays by Southern Boone. The adjustments they made at halftime clearly are working. If anything, it fired them up at halftime. Head coach Andy Jansen getting his eagles ready to soar. As with it is Wallace. He'll have it straight away. Didn't take the three. Looks for Watts. Far side shot up. No good. Miss it. Offensive rebound. Put back by Huffman. Good. His first bucket of the game. He's got two points. Still a 16-point lead for Southern Boone. Bukowski has another three up near side. No good. Rebound comes down for Moberly as they'll hand it off. 
to Rutger. Rutger had it, gives it off to Wallace. Now Watts with it straight away. He'll look far side. He holds the basketball of his head. Now put the dribble down. Now between the legs, behind the back, Wallace gets it. He just turned it over. His bad pass from Watts. Wallace has it hit out of bounds. We'll go back to Southern Boone as we are at 3 minutes and 59 seconds left on the clock here. In this third period, Southern Boone leading again by 16 at 46 to 30. They've hit four trays here in this third period. Some subs in as Dapkis has it. He'll get it back. Right wing, he'll fire up a three on the iron. No good. Rebound will be controlled. Jump ball called. Controlled by both teams. So possession does favor Southern Boone, so they'll have it underneath their own bucket. So they've got Dapkis. Beckman, Morris, Salter, and Ash out on the court. So quick inbound will go into Dapkis in the paint. He fires up a shot, no good, too strong. Rebound comes down to Ash. Offensive shot up, that one up and good as Dapkis gets the second one to fall. Nice assist by Ash. Now 48 to 30. There's going to be a ball poked away by Ash, taken the other way. They'll dish it off to Salter. Dapkis had it for a moment. There's a three up by Beckman. No good. Couldn't tell if it went in or nicked the rim and went out of bounds. That was the case. It was a beautiful-looking shot. But didn't find the bucket. So Moberly has the basketball as Bivens has checked back in. Dubrava has it, his three up, no good. Rebound comes down to Dapkis. He'll put the gas to work now as he's quickly in a front court. And there's going to be a pass, though. Bad pass taken by Wallace the other way. He trips, loses the dribble, out of bounds off of him. Southern Boone's basketball. He's trying to make a move around Salter, tripped himself up. Kind of got uh, the uh, football, we call it the turf monster. Here it'd be the hardwood monster, I guess, is that line down there. Painted on the gym floor, reached up and tripped him. So Dapkis has it here on the near side. Pass over to Wren for a moment. Back to Dapkis. Down low, turnaround shot up by Ashgood. He's got eight points and a whistle and a, a timeout called. We'll take a quick break as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. Now Southern Moon leads by 20 now. Biggest lead of the day they've had. They lead 50 to 30 here over Moberly. There's going to be a pass taken away by Morris. He'll drive in, lay it up good. Morris has got nine points. As on the other end with it is Rucker. He gives it off. Far side, Wallace, he'll fire up a three. Got that one. He's got 11 points. Makes it a 19-point lead at 52-33. Quickly in the front court with it. There's a three left wing up in and out. Back in. That one up by Morris. He has got double digits with 12. Back to a 20-plus lead. Dobravin, his shot up no good. Rebound will come down to Adapkis as he'll drive in coast to coast, lay it up. He'll be fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. That foul called second one on Bivens. Team foul number two here in the second half. A minute 45 left in this second period of action. So Adapkis, the freshman, Steps in. He's got 12 points. Make that 13. 
Hampkiss showing he is a well-rounded athlete. He was a standout running back, had good hands, step over and catch a pass if he needed to from the backfield in football, showing now that he is multi-sport athlete. He's shining here. He's got 14 points here in the ballgame. There's going to be a loose ball. He'll get the steal. He'll drive in, lay it up, two more. Again, this is just way too easy for Southern Boone here. They have a plethora of points off turnovers. There's going to be a shot up, no good, but a foul called. Richard Awali, he has checked in. The sophomore picks up his first foul, second team foul. So at the free throw line, Dubrava, good. So he makes the first free throw. Second one up, that one also good. That makes it a 59-35 score. Southern Boone has pressure that Moberly's putting on in this inbound. There's going to be number three on Bivens, his third, team third. He got Wren on the way by, so that will be an inbound here for Southern Boone. They'll get it in. There's another three up. That one no good. Offensive putback as Ash was knocked down. No good, but he will go to the free throw line for a couple tosses. That one called on Chase Nelson, the senior. He's checked in his first team fourth. First free throw, no good by Ash, is it? Bounces on the iron several times before it falls off. So he will have a second one coming. Again, Southern Boone leading 59-35. Second free throw up, that one good. So Ash makes the back half of those. He's got nine points in the game so far. It's a 25-point lead, biggest of the night so far for Southern Boone. Boys looking to sweep. The doubleheader after the girls won the first game of our twin billing here today. As down low with it, that's going to be Huffman. He can't do anything with it. Bivens for three, far side, short. Rebound will be controlled by Southern Boone. They just threw it away, though. And a shot up good. Dubrava gets two more points. He's got 22, leading score for either team. There's going to be a ball that's swatted out of bounds. They're going to say it was last touched by Southern Boone, though. So we'll go back to Moberly. And 60 to 37 score, 38.8 seconds left here in this third period of action. They said the girls were victorious for Southern Boone, 60, sorry, 56 to 50. The boys looking to sweep doubleheader action. Wallace drives in, his right-hander up, no good. Rebound, offensive put back up and good. New Brava has two more points. Under 20 seconds to go. As there's going to be a shot up and good. That one from the low post by Owali. He has his first bucket. As time winding down, five on the clock, far side with it. Is Rucker, he'll drive in, shot no good. It'll be an inbound as it was a foul. That one on Dapkis, that's his second, team third. So quick inbound, shot's going to be no good, blocked by Ash, no foul call. So that'll take us to the end of the third period of action as it is 62 Right. Southern Boone leads. I'm going to check that score. We'll be right back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone and Eagles basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
There's no better way to celebrate a special event or show someone just how important they are to you than gifting them something handcrafted from Country with a Heart. Handmade in mid-Missouri, Country with a Heart specializes in hand-built woodworking projects for every occasion. Their design collection includes children's furniture, doll furniture, household items, holiday decor, outdoor decorations, custom projects, and everything in between. To view their full inventory of projects, visit countrywithaheart.com and find them on Facebook by joining the Country with a Heart group page. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! No, Moberly has the basketball. They trail 62-39. There's going to be three up by Bivens. That's no good. Whistles on the rebound. And they're going to say a foul. Over the back was Ash, his first team fourth. Wanted to check that uh, score. I thought I missed one. However, there's going to be a whistle and a foul called. That one called on Bivens. That'll be number four on him. Team foul number five. So offensive foul. So he's called. Guilty party there. As I said, in the uh, third period, Southern Boone outscored Moberly 30 to 13. That's how they almost doubled up their score from the first half. They hit 32 points in the first half, scored 30 in the third period. Southern Boone has the basketball. Bukowski will have it, won't take the long two. He'll dish it off in the right wing to Aaron. Ball is going to be taken away. Moberly will get it back. Wallace drives in, shot good. He'll go to the free throw line. So will have the chance to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. That foul called on Ash, his second team fifth. So at the free throw line is Wallace, he's got 13 points, looking for number 14 here, if he can complete the old-fashioned three-point play, no good, as he will not do so. Rebound comes down to the hands of Aaron. There's a three by Salter, that one no good. Rebound poked around, it'll be controlled by Rucker as he'll go the other way with it. He lost the handle, Salter comes out with it for Southern Boone. He's gonna let some traffic clear, stop, won't take the three. Give it off to Aaron here on the near side. He'll drive along the baseline, give it off. Shot up, no good. Left it short was Ash. Second chance, he got that one. He's got double digits with 11. 64-41 the score in favor of Southern Boone. There's going to be almost a steal. However, Wallace will fire a three up from the far side. No good. Rebound will be taken by Southern Boone. Quickly the other way is Aaron. He'll give it off to Morris. He drives in, underhanded move. Shot up, no good. Second effort shot, turn around, good. That one by Ash. He's got back-to-back buckets, 13 points to his name tonight. 66-41 score. As with it, he is Moberly. That's Huffman has it. He gives it off to Wallace, driving in far side. He'll throw it up. Wasn't even pointed the right direction towards the bucket. Didn't get the prayer answer. Southern Moon will have the basketball. Driving in, Aaron has it. Left wing, there's a three up, left that short. Did Morris, rebound comes down into the hands of Moberly as we've got six minutes to go here in the ball game. There's a three up by Wallace, near side, no good. Bukowski will get the rebound, he'll give it off to Aaron as he'll take it across the timeline. Left hand dribble, give it off to Morris, then take the three from the left wing. Bukowski will get it back out at center circle. Now him and Morris will exchange positions and possession of the basketball as Morris now will walk here to the near side. Aarons has it, gives it off. Left wing Bukowski, he'll fire the three up, good. Bukowski has eight points in the game. It's now 69-41, Southern Boone score. There's gonna be a whistle and a foul as Morris is gonna pick up his first foul, 16 foul. So it will be a timeout called. Nope, no timeout. We just see 
each team have five new substitutions come in. Well, Moberly had four out of five. I might have to get deep in the roster here. Moberly has the basketball. Wallace will get the inbound. Long three, right wing, too strong. Dapkis will get the rebound for Southern Boone. So he will take it across the timeline. He'll drive in, dish it off near side. There's a two up by Tally. Good. No, that's a three. He's got the tray. Ty Tally, the 6'1 junior, he's got a tray. 72-41 score. Far side with it is does Moberly. Trying to pick up some new players here. Huffman had it. He'll get it back. Shot up from the low post. No good. Ball will be knocked around. It'll come down to the hands of Aiden Young. Young will give it off to Wren. He'll fire up a three. He got a three from the far side. At this point, I think I could go down there and drain a three. As it's raining trays here at Moberly for Southern Boone. There's going to be a ball. Dobrava has it knocked out of his hands. A foul called. And on tally, his first team seventh. So it should be. Should be one and one here. So now they get it corrected. Officials only as good as the scoreboard operator, who's done a fabulous job here, but only showed six fouls. They were already inbound, but said, nope, nope, that's number seven. So New Bravo will be at the free throw line for a one and bonus opportunity. First one up, no good. Rebound comes down in the hands of Southern Boone as Beckman will get the pass. He'll give it off. To Young. There's a three from the left wing. That one no good by Tally. Rebound comes down for Moberly as they'll go the other way with it. There's going to be a whistle and a foul called. So another one to one opportunity. That one on Young, his first teammate foul. So at the free throw line once again. They do Bravo. He was four of four, however, missed his last free throw, so he's four of five. First one up, good, so he'll earn the bonus. So he will have the bonus coming. He's only got 25 points on the night. If he makes this, though, that might be the end of his night as somebody's waiting to check in. He makes that one. So he will exit the ball game. 26 points to his credit for the freshman. Very impressed with him here on the Moberly squad. He is a good basketball player. Southern Boone has the 75-43 lead. Brock Gamble, the sophomore, he's in the ball game. He had it for a moment. Young will have it. Now give it off to Tally on the far side. Left wing, that's Wren back to Tally. Young has it, far side. Trying to drive in is Wren. Now he'll put the brakes on. There's a three up by Tally, no good. Rebound will be way out front. It'll be taken. There's a no-look assist shot up, no good, as Moberly cannot close the deal. So it goes back to Southern Boone. There's a no-look assist by Bohm. But Bevins couldn't get the shot to go in. Wren misses that one. Got his own rebound, though. Gives it off. Shot up no good. That's by Awali. Quickly in the front court with it for Moberly. There's a two up and good. That by Caden Hansen. He was standing on the line, so just a two. They stop the clock here, stop play rather, just to get a couple subs in because we've reached the running clock portion of our ball game. And it's a 30-point margin, 75-45 in favor of Southern Boone. They are going to sweep doubleheader action. Here's the girls' one, 56-50. Young will have it in the left wing as we're under 60 seconds to go. Brock Gamble had it for a moment. Wren will have it. 
Here on the near side, he'll give it off to Tally. Young has it in the paint, driving in, got stripped on the way up. It'll stay with Southern Moon underneath their own bucket. So he will start the inbound play here. He'll smack the basketball, look to get it in. He will do so. Into Wren on the far side. Wren in the paint, Owali has it. Turn around, Jay, no good, left it too short. Rebound comes down to Moberly as we're at 24 seconds left to go. Driving in, there's a shot up, that no good. Rebound will come down to Tally. Southern Moon will have it going the other way. However, clock continuing to roll. Wren will have a far side, 10 on the clock. That's Southern Boone. I'll just dribble out the clock here. And it's three, two, one. And that'll do it for the ball game as Southern Boone gets a 75-45 victory in the boys' half of the doubleheader. We're going to take a quick break and be back for your post-game show. As you're listening to exclusive coverage of Southern Boone County Eagles basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Attention Eagles fans, here's your chance to help the student athletes of Southern Boone County by becoming a member of the Southern Boone Booster Club. Your gifts help provide all Southern Boone County athletes with a safe and positive experience while attending our school district and also help purchase items that our sports team couldn't otherwise afford. You can join the Southern Boone Booster Club this season for as little as $25. Membership is open to everyone. Interested in joining? Look them up on Facebook by searching Southern Boone Booster Club or email them at sbcathleticboosters at gmail.com. Let's go Eagles! Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format high-powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market. Anything can become a canvas. The -the state-of-the-art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one-of-a-kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573-489-8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business well southern boone sweeps the doubleheader action at moberly as the girls win their game by a final of 56 to 50 the boys close out do their job in the nightcap as they get the 75 to 45 victory over the spartans taking a look at your scoring summary for the ball game looking at the roster for Southern Boone, everybody that's on the varsity roster, but two players scored. So that's uh, something that doesn't happen that often. So you can tell that there was a lot of points chipped in by a lot of players. I'm not going to tell you who the two were that uh, played that didn't score any points because that doesn't matter. But what matters is it was a well-balanced attack here tonight for the Eagles as they move to 6-4 and on the season. Their leading scorer, was freshman Brady Dapp because he had 16 points, 13 points put in by junior Kellen Ash, 12 points by junior Chase Morris. Eight points put in by senior Carter Salter as well as senior Aiden Bukowski. Six points put in by sophomore Braden Beckman. Five points put in by sophomore and Jace Wren. Three points by junior Ty Talley and two points chipped in by senior Mason Aaron and sophomore Richard Awali to round out their scoring. Taking a look at the Moberly scoring, their leading scorer, leading all scorers, was freshman Cameron Dubrava. He had 26 points in the ball game. 13 points put in by senior Darius Wallace and two points by senior Colin Huffman, junior Caden Hansen, and junior Tyrese Rucker to round out the scoring. Our ball game had four lead changes, and we also had ties at 5, 7, 9, and 11. So four ties along the way before Southern Boone put the uh, hammer down, as they say, and pretty much drove away with it as they get the victory by final of 75 to 45. That puts their record to 6 and 4 on the season. For, as we said, for the girls, they move to 8 and 5 as they get the win in the first game of our doubleheader action, our twin billing here tonight. Well, that's going to do it for our broadcast here as uh, we will be back on the air tomorrow. It'll be uh, Stevens Stars basketball as the uh, Connie Comets are uh, actually, as uh, the Stars travel to Connie, they travel to Nevada and take on the Connie Comets. That's my hometown, so I've uh, seen a whole lot of Connie College basketball in my lifetime. It should be a great matchup 
an AMC matchup, so conference matchup for the Stars. But we will have that broadcast pregame will be about 12.50 tomorrow here on the Show Me Sports Network. Tip-off set for 1 o'clock. We'll have the uh, exclusive call of that game as uh, we carry the uh, Steven Stars basketball and softball broadcast here on the Show Me Sports Network. So we'll have that for you tomorrow. But that's going to do it for our broadcast here for tonight as Southern Boone wins both games of our doubleheader as uh, they beat Moberly on the road at Moberly. That's going to do it for our broadcast for the Show Me Sports Network. I'm Blake Gasway. Until I talk to you tomorrow for Stephen Stars Basketball, so long and have a great rest of your evening. Serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world, this is the Show Me Sports Network. The preceding was an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and was a high-fidelity all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyright by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited.